Okay, so the other day I did a video about heating the house only with solar passive heat because my uh, stove is not really usable and uh, kind of limits me to the passive solar only in this. So uh, today we're going to talk about how an Earthship actually does that. Um, You've got uh, the start of it is basically what you're looking at right here. So these are uh, about six foot tall uh, windows um, all down the south side of the house. So this is allowing all of the sun in and uh, it's going to heat the floor and the walls inside the house and all that solar mass is going to absorb all that heat and then it let that heat escape back into the house uh, over the night when the sun's down. So uh, the other thing you're going to notice about an earth ship, <clears throat> aside from the massive uh, south facing uh, glass, is the fact that uh, it's basically an underground structure uh, because of the berm. So you can see here, uh, this is where my house kind of ends right here, and then this is all berm here. So you can see all of that thermal mass, all of that, uh, all that earth that's piled against the outside of that U-wall that's constructed from, uh, you know, used car tires uh, packed with earth, generates this uh, large mass here that uh, basically uh, mimics uh, underground structures. So you've got all the energy, heat energy from the earth itself, the, 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 the ambient temperature in the earth is going to keep that house from getting too cold, uh, even with no heat source. So go inside here. All right, so sun coming in through our south exposure. And then we've got a bunch of different types of uh, thermal mass absorbing that heat. So looking at the floor here this is all this mexican tile uh, that is he heats up by the uh, by the sun during the day and it's actually pretty nice uh, keeps the floor actually very warm all the time so even at night you can walk out no shoes on and and this floor is actually always um, fairly warm uh, the other thing is a lot of this uh, concrete and or um, adobe construction in the house uh, all painted uh, dark colors so that it can absorb the sun. This here is a can wall. Um, now, uh, actually, can walls are one of the problems I have with the design of earth ships because uh, this could be really great thermal mass right here. This, if this was solid concrete, um, but because there are a lot of voids in this because of the cans that are inside, it limits the effectiveness of this kind of wall uh, for thermal mass. So. Uh, this is also, I assume, a can wall here, and I know that the uh, um, that this here is a can wall that that, that makes the the, uh, the sink and counter area. Uh, so uh, that does absorb heat and holds on to quite a bit of thermal energy. But it would be better if this was just solid rather than having all those voids. So um, let me come over to here. You can see this is an interior wall, but this is a tire wall. Um, so You've got uh, sort of a double U here, uh, where, it, where the tire wall comes around in a U and comes out here. This is tires, and you can actually come in here, and we can see that that's a tire right there. So that's a tire wall. That's all rammed earth construction right there, um, contributing to our thermal mass. And during the end of the afternoon or middle of the day towards the end of the day this will all be exposed to sun as will this wall as will this wall here um and that's uh actually not concrete that's adobe i believe actually no no that's concrete there i think uh and that's obviously painted dark color so it'll absorb the sun and if we go back around here where the sun is now you can see the adobe wall here uh, and this is quite warm to the touch now. So all of that absorbing heat so that it can uh, let it back out during the night.
the cistern, the indoor cistern also buffers the heat inside the earth ship quite a bit. Um, there's quite a large volume of water here. Uh, the edge of the, the cistern at the top here is uh, exposed to sun uh, quite a bit during the day as well. And that gets quite warm and you can see the sun's on it now and it's getting pretty warm already today. It's uh, still pretty early in the morning. Uh, but we're already getting quite a bit of solar gain. Now, uh, I don't remember what the low was overnight, but the temperature in here right now is 73 at uh, just about 11 o'clock. So by the end of the day, we should be well into the 80s in here uh, just with the passive solar.